No messing around this time. Four berserks. We're making 20 power creatures and we're attacking face. All right, welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night donation deck list brought to you by Myron. This is a, well, what was asked for was Berserk Part 2, Four Berserks, the sequel. Um, so we're going to do that. The initial list was a little bit different, but we've, we've kind of uh, uh, pinpointed the idea, and we are going to try to make very lethal slick shot show offs new outlaws of thunder junction card this is going to be a little bit in one of the directions that i talked about in my first video uh typically not a kind of style of deck where i would i would be super happy playing it in vintage because you always really want to try to play force of will uh if you can't help it uh but this is, does have the explosive power necessary to hopefully uh take the games that we're looking for um I've kind of looked around at different modern legacy uh, Penny Dreadful lists to try to figure out exactly how I wanted to play this shell. Uh, and, I, and I came down on um, the Dragon Rage Channeler uh, Breach package with tons and tons of baubles. Um, so we're going to play two prowess creatures with Monastery Swift Spear and Slickshot Show Off and kind of Questing Druid. We're going to play Dragon Rage Channeler. Uh, and then we're going to play tons of zero drops that we can uh, chain our spells off of. And we're going to hopefully uh, double that with a Berserk. Um, even more free spells, Mutagenic Growth. Uh, I am playing a couple of different little um, one-hit KOs here with Assault Strobe and Scale Up. Uh, Scale Up plus Berserk should be a 20 damage show off unless I'm doing the math wrong. Um, so should, uh, let's see, Strobe 5. I don't know. There's a couple ways here you can get to 20 in one go. Uh, Breach should be pretty strong, uh, just being able to play a ton of spells in one turn, especially with Dragon Reach Channel Learn Play, to hopefully make a Slickshot show off on its own. Um, got a bit of a red-green Taiga mana base, always a good sign. And a full Moxin, uh, contingent here to help play us, uh, either Seek the Beast or Slickshot show off on turn one. Always worth splashing, uh, Ancestral Time Walk. Time Walk is incredibly good in these style of decks. You don't see them that very much anymore, but decks that attack for a lethal um, time walk gets better and better. Uh, probe and Mist Up are free zero drop spells to include here. And then obviously Bobble is free cantripping greatness. Uh, the reason that I wanted to use like Swift Spear and Show Off and not something like maybe Kiln Fiend is because Kiln Fiend doesn't trigger on these Bobbles, whereas uh, Swift Spear and Show Off do. Um, also, the Bobbles play really nicely with the Dragon Rage Channeler and the Underworld Breach. Um, sideboard, I have, I have some sweet ones. I decided to play a bunch of surgical extractions. That way we can use them a little bit, uh, proactively and get damage with them. Uh, maybe that's not enough to actually beat, uh, a bizarre deck. We'll see. Uh, I have pyrokinesis as a non-creature way to remove, um, some threats. I have, uh, pulverize as our go-to shops answer here, where it will be sacrificed two mountains to destroy all artifacts. Uh, that I think is definitely the best way to go for in terms of artifact removal. I thought about different things like price of progress, um, smash the smithereens and things. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, plenty of different ways to um, do that. Oh, I, I think we should be able to cast ancestral plenty often, right? We have five fetch lands, two blue lands plus sapphire petal lotus. We're gonna be turning through a lot of cards very quickly. I'm, I'm not too worried about the splash here. I think the splash is totally feasible. Uh, I was uh convinced to include Luris, even though we're not probably going to be able to cast Luris in our deck. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to make the mana base bad to cast Luris. We can technically cast it off of Black Lotus, Petal, um, Pearl, and Jet, but I, I would suspect we're not going to be casting very many Lurises. Uh, one thing that Luris does let us do is kind of maybe lull our opponent into the idea that we might be a slower deck. That could be helpful. Uh, for that, it's kind of the same reason I'm not going to play Gigantha in this deck. Uh, telling your opponent that your deck does not contain Force of Will is uh losing proposition and vintage you can't you can't give away that kind of information right away uh or you will be put at a significant disadvantage uh anything else anything else no uh this should be pretty fun i'm hoping to get some some kills with this deck we'll see if it actually comes to fruition uh in round one of this vintage league have you ever wanted to win your own real black lotus the legendary nyse vintage tournament returns this june 22nd on long island in new york 15 proxy high stakes paper vintage action with 
eight whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. All right, welcome to round one of this Vintage League. Uh, my apologies again for the off-color, not off-color, but off-frame. <laughs> Weak Moxon. Uh, we are on our Daybreak creator account. Thank you, Daybreak, because I don't want to buy Slick Shot Show Offs at whatever price Slick Shot Show Offs are, 15 tickets or so. We've got a cat. They have a cat. We've got a Slick Shot Show Off. Is this worth playing? Is this hand worth keeping? I mean, if they have a cat, I feel like I'm down. But we don't have a lot of creatures. Only one creature. Mm, I don't really feel like this is a mulligan, though. Let's try keeping it. It's not the most explosive hand, but... um, I don't know. I don't feel like mulliganing against Lurus is a great idea. And we can't get wastelanded, right? So, is F2 not my key? Oh, all of my uh, quick keys are broken. All right, one second. All right, we are back with the ability to F2. Very important. What's the what's the what's the command chat? Exclamation mark hotkeys. Exclamation mark. What I feel I I feel like we have one. There we go. <laughs> Yo, I enjoyed the video, but one tip. Hotkeys save time. <laughs> Urza Saga. Mox Pearl. Go. Alright, I'm going to lead with uh, the Volcanic Island. I don't know how many of these mutagenic growths I'm supposed to cast. If I if I resolve a Slick Shot Show Off. If I don't resolve a Slick Shot Show Off, are I not, am I not in uh, a large amount of trouble? I am in a large amount of trouble. All right, well, they had a Force of Will. Who could have seen this coming? All right, show me a card from your hand. Vampiric Tutor. All right, well, show me another card from your hand. Another Vampiric Tutor. Hmm. All right, well, I think we're dead. <laughs> I didn't I didn't uh, calculate my, my Slick Shot show off getting countered in my, my plan in this game. Hmm, hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no land. They have no land, chat. They kept Urza's Saga, no other land. Brilliant. Saga Gaming. A questing druid. Hmm. 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 I want to seek the beast, though. So I feel like we should just cast Ancestral Recall. All right, they had two Force of Wills. This feels a little bit evil to me, but what do I know? Let's play the fetch land just in case we get wastelanded somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, that's my water beer of choice for sure. Finish a unrelaxing workday with a relaxing beer. If they want to needle my foothills here, so be it. That's fine with me. Yeah, uh, that's like a, a weird... Uh, this, I'm pretty sure this is the Ro, uh, Roland Chang 2005 Vintage Eternal Weekend Championship art. I don't know why it's on Magic Online, but uh, you can get it if you have the all-access pass. So, All right, my opponent got a Soul Ring, and then they're going to play a... Oh, they're playing Pio. Well, that's not good. I didn't want to see that. That's that's not good. Who plays Pio? This is 2024. I'm going to buy Lurus with this. Play it next turn. All right, well, we're going to go to end step. We're going to go get one of those... Uh, I guess we're not getting Wastelanded, so let's just go get a Taiga. Uh, and then I'm going to Seek the Beast and hope it doesn't get countered. There's no way they have third force... Right? All right, we hit a Gataxian Probe and a Mox Sapphire. All right. And we hit a Dragon Rage Channeler. All right, sweet. So let's go Dragon Rage Channeler. And then let's go Mox Sapphire. Surveil. Uh, let's bin the Bobble. Trying to find more creatures here, right? Or maybe a Berserk. All right, let's get this uh, Questing Druid into play. 
Uh, no, because I wanted to use the Sapphire on the Questing Druid. But maybe not. We'll see. That was just my gut instinct, but I could have been wrong. I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. Uh, I, I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong, though. That's, that was just my gut instinct. <laughs> I, like, I'll always say when I, when I don't actually put thought into something. Uh, all right, so my opponent has Luris, Merchant Scroll, Repeal, Vamp, Ancestral in their hand. That seems bad for me. Uh, all right. Well, I kind of need to draw like Underworld Preach, right? I don't feel like I'm going to hit my opponent for 20 next turn, but maybe we can somehow. Okay, this is a Vampiric Tutor for, I assume, a Black Lotus, a Telerian Academy, maybe. Okay, a Black Lotus. So with this, they're going to cast Ancestral. Oh, they're just going to play Luris and then read by Black Lotus and then cast Ancestral. Okay, that is uh, not ideal. I mean, when they missed their land drop on turn two, I assume they had a handful of power, right? Though, to be fair, we've already seen Force Force, Time Walk, Fluster Storm from them. So, Also, Repeal is kind of annoying. It's like their one removal spell, right? Maybe we can bait them into a Luris block. Uh, Demonic Tutor. I can't imagine we're winning this game. My opponent has just cast every restricted card in the deck. <laughs> Do I think DRC is a vintage level card? Not exactly. Um, that's definitely not something I would say. Uh, no, no oofs. Um, our deck is very artifact based. All right, so my opponent uh, Merchant Scrolls for a Force of Will. That makes sense to me. Um... Our deck has like 20 artifacts. Dress down? God, that's a huge problem. They have Luris dress down loop. Hmm. I don't really know if we can do anything about that. <laughs> and they have forcible backup, right? Uh. Should we like mutagenic growth to surveil? Probably not. I mean, they have a force of will, so I feel like it will be tough, but. I feel like we still have outs with Underworld Breach, maybe. Or we can draw three mutagenic growths. Have, has anyone considered that? Uh, so what's my best attack? Both? I feel like both can't be it, because then they'll just swing back with lifelink, right? So I guess... I mean, they're not going to block the questing druid, so I guess we just get in with the questing druid. And then maybe we can trade for this Luris with the, dra the Dragon Rage Channeler. I guess this Dragon Rage Channeler is going to be a 3-3, three, three, so maybe that's a problem. Oh, they just have a repeal, though. So, like, that's never going to work. Mm. Things are bad. So, I guess we should have swung with our 1-1. One, one, or neither. So that if they repealed the questing druid, then we could at least seek the beast again, right? This seems like a repeal to me. Oh, dig through time. Jesus. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, my opponent is going off. They're playing all the restricted cards. No, this Luris is not intended to be castable. No, it's it's mostly just, uh, hey, look, I'm playing a slow deck. But it's definitely better than not having a companion, right? Who cares about the 15th sideboard slot or whatever? No, no, this, this was intended. This was intended, chat. This was intended. I did not want to make our mana base bad. So that we could play Luris here. I don't think it's worth it. Most decks in the format don't actually, like, kill your creatures. They just, like, Swords of Fosters them. Alright, no attack from the Luris player. End of turn, dress down. Alright, I mean, technically, we have a Lightning Bolt and Breach to draw to here. Hey, who said Luris wasn't castable? You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Silly chat. 
Unfortunately, I can't cast anything with my Luris because my opponent has a dress down loop. But, you know, a little bit here, a little bit of there. I feel like I'll just attack with both here. No, I cut Manamorphose. I felt like Manamorphose was worse than the other options. Oh, they're just doing it? We're just doing it live? All right. I'll cast Mutagenic Growth. <laughs> I will, I'll do the damage. All right, well, that's very good for the home team. If we weren't dying on the next turn, I would feel very good about our spot. They have a like a 10-10 creature, and then they have infinite turns. So we don't really have a lot of time here. We can buy back a Slick Shot show off if our Luris lives a turn, but the opponent still has a repeal and a, a blocker. So I don't feel like we actually have a chance, but... Or they can just PO for four, and that also kills us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, our opponent casts Ancestral, Black Lotus, Demonic Tutor, Dig Through Time, Two Force of Wills, Time Walk. Like, they, they cast the good cards. I was not ready to play against Paradox Lobcom for what it's worth. Uh, Nihil Spellbomb. Jesus, in your main of your PO deck? Brutal. Luris does unnatural things. Oh, are we just not spell bombing? You should probably spell bomb, right? I guess that could be worried about breach. They have to have another dress down. No. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, we can draw a berserk, but they have a force of will and a repeal. I guess the repeal doesn't do anything, just the force of will does. Uh, all right. They had too many cards. Slick shot, show off. Cast. I don't think this does 12 damage, but... Oh, wait, it doesn't have haste. Damn. All right, I don't want to show them the two mutagenic growths. Two, three, five, seven, uh, five, seven, nine. All right, we'll concede. Um, honestly... For how much we got destroyed in that game, it was pretty close. What is going on? Magic Online, please keep my filters from somewhere else. You know what it is? It's because I had to reinstall the entire client when I did the when the um the future site thing happened. I tried to reinstall the client and see if that would help. Uh alright, well I don't really like any of these cards. Oh no, I, I like Pyroblast. I like Pyroblast a lot. Pyroblast seems great. What do we take out for Pyroblast? One bobble, one bobble. Perfect. I guess we can probably take out this forest, right? Because we don't need a forest here. Do we want a pulverize? Uh, I really wish we had drawn into our underworld breaches. Is two the right number of underworld breaches in this kind of deck? I'm not really familiar. It's a modern deck, right? Is two two to the right number of breaches? I looked at a bunch of different formats to try to make this deck, so I feel like four is too many mutagenic growths, but I didn't know what the right number was, so. I think Veil of Summer is, like, kind of a bad card, but... not It's not a bad card, but it's, like... It's just... It it needs to line up in a really specific way, and I just... Sometimes, I just don't feel like that happens enough to her to be worth including. Uh, Alright, I cut my forest, and then... Oh, okay, my, I didn't cut my forest, so this... I mean, forest would be bad here anyways. I only really put the forest in the deck for the Wasteland matchups anyway, so... Uh, this hand's great. Keep this hand. Yeah. Uh, I will put back the mutagenic growth. And then I will play Dragon Rage Channeler. I think I will hold on to my bobble. Feels like that makes the most sense. Yeah, let's hold on to the bobble. I don't know. I'm going to have to try to weigh the value of, of having things immediately versus plus one, plus ones, plus two, plus zeros. Another Nihil spell bomb. And a Telerian Academy. And a Time Walk. And a Thing in the Ice. I see. That does seem annoying to me. Uh, I have two Pyroblasts, so... 
All right, Mox Jet's a great draw here. Let's do uh, red, Swift Spear. Mox Jet. Oh, should I fetch first? I feel like I should have fetched first. My bad. Uh, not used to playing these decks. Oh, that's okay. That one is going to the graveyard anyways. Uh, let me fetch first here. Oh, I guess I could use the bobble, but I feel like I'm always going to play this. I'm always going to want the ability to play Seek the Beast when they block, right? Even if it, like, loses two things, I feel like killing the thing in the ice is a big deal. I could probably get away with a Volcanic here, though. Yeah, I'll have to try to narrow in my sequencing. I'm sorry. I have, I, it's, I'm just way out of practice of this style of deck. Uh, I think we've been that one as an artifact. Oh, I guess this is an artifact, so... It didn't really help me. Hmm. And this doesn't this doesn't actually make something that goes to the yard. That's actually good, huh? Damn. Okay. I don't think that went. Oh wait, yeah, this is Seek the Beast. Okay. There's a Time Vault on my opponent's top of the library. All right. I will go to combat with these two. If they block the Monastery Swift Spear, which I don't think they will do, then I will cast Seek the Beast. If they don't, then at the end of turn, I'll cast Seek the Beast. Because I don't think that it's worth it to try to get in an extra point of damage here with the Questing Druid rather than to try to get max value off of the um, Seeking. Underworld Breach. That could be really good with um, Dragon Rage Channeler and a Bobble and stuff. Oh, what the... F Why do they have the, the, the good cards? Can we stop doing that? Isn't Thing in the Ice with Four Ponder pretty nice? And the Black Boat... Yeah, it's, like, fine. I mean, they're going to be able to flip this thing here, probably. Are they going to Lorien? Ooh. All right. Well, I rate things as pretty damn bad. I guess this Nihil's problem stops my Underworld Breach from actually being good. Oh, they didn't hit a land drop? How many cards did they draw this turn? They didn't hit a Mox or a land. I guess they hit a Black Lotus in seven cards that they drew. So am I not supposed to cast this so they can't, can't force it? I mean, I'm going to cast it. Uh, do I want another Swift Spear? An interesting question. Kind of no. Kind of yes. I mean, I cast... Well, I guess that's going to be off the Seek the Beast if the Seek the Beast resolves. I guess the answer is still... I can put a creature in my yard... I don't know if that's actually good, though, because of a spell bomb, right? I kind of feel like the answer is no. I feel like I have enough creatures. I'm going to have to recast all these creatures when this thing flips anyways. Oh, they just forced it. I guess if they force my breach, they bounce everything back to my hand, too. Uh, I don't think we're winning this game, either. I feel like I should draw Ancestral Black Lotus. So the problem is, if they have a force in their hand, they flip the thing in the ice, right? That's the biggest problem here. I mean, they're going to pop this now. I spell bomb when we play Breach. But I mean, we're going to play it, right? I definitely don't need that. Yeah. I mean, it takes them off of mana, so it's not nothing. The problem is this Berserk is, like, not going to kill my opponent. It's just going to kill my creature, right? Like, I can't actually cast this here. This looks really bad for me. But I guess that's where we're at in life. I want to draw Ancestral Recall. Well, I think we should just try to kill this. Hopefully this resolves. Slick shot show off top. Nope. I guess this means that we save our two creatures. But I think that means we're going to die to an Awoken Horror. <laughs> yeah, maybe we didn't want a Slick shot show off. 
Uh, I don't know. Like, what am I going to do? My opponent drew Ancestral Recall, Talarian Academy, Force of Will, Mental Misstep, Black Lotus. Like, what? what, what I mean, I was doomed, right? I, this is this is a, a foolish endeavor. This is why you play Force of Will. All right, all right, all right. You bested me in the arena of ideas. All right, round two. We got Dredge now. Can our deck KO Dredge? Damn, this hand doesn't have mana. You hate to see it. Uh, well, let's hope our opponent does some mulliganing. Ooh, okay, all right. We've got we've got some combination gaming happening. So here we what what, what do we want to do here? No, I like the ancestral art. Channel my Roland Chang. I'm telling you, what do we want to do here? Do we want to just bottom the land, or do we want to bottom the slick shot show off? I guess we could bottom the Swift Spear, theoretically, here. Is the Swift Spear better than the Dragon Rage Channeler? Kind of not, really. Because flying and surveilling. I mean, maybe we don't need a second land, though. We're on the draw. Maybe we get away with that. I don't know. It's dredge. Oh, wait a second. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We don't have any zeros in our hand, though. It's not exactly fine. Wait, this is not dredge. Hello? Okay, that's that is a combination that we are we are willing to accept. I accept. I want my land back, though. Can I can I get my land back? Uh, I kind of want my land back. All right, I'm going to go with the basic mountain so that we don't get wastelanded. And then I'm going to start with Dragon Rage Channeler so that we can uh, try to find a land. I think I would rather. No, I'm gonna wait for the damage in this in this in this instance. I'm gonna wait for the damage in this instance. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Why do I bother, man? Why do I even try? I did put the basic forest in my deck, though. Not that the basic forest does anything here, but. No, I did, I was gonna use it as an extra plus one for the, the the Swift Spear as well. I mean, I shouldn't have bottomed my land. Oh great, I drew the Tropical Island. Yo, this is the worst game ever. <laughs> uh, I drew the Forest and the Tropical Island. Okay, Berserk. I can't keep Berserk. I need a land. I mean, I maybe I can keep Berserk. No, I no 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 no. This is. This is bad. This is... This is bad. I guess maybe I'm supposed to just mutagenic growth and upkeep then. Ah, yes, waste let me, waste let me, waste let me. Please, 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 thank you. It's so easy. All right, I, you know what? YOLO. Well, we're been in that. It's a creature though. Five damage. Scale up. What does this read? Plus two, plus two. All right, whatever. Uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to do 11 here. They're shops, right? What are they going to do about it? Ancestral Recall. Yeah, can't cast that one. All right. Take 10. That's a lot of damage. What the? What the? Take 10. <laughs> All right, they're at 7. That's a quick clock with an Ancient Doom in play. Caracas. Soul Guide Lantern. Why is everyone playing? Stop it. That's evil. I think we're going to win this game, though. I believe we're going to win the okay. I, I I have never been so punished for bottoming a land in my life. I just assumed my opponent was on dredge. That's all they ever play is dredge. You don't think we're winning? I think we're winning. How is my opponent ever gonna win from here? What are they gonna do? They're dead. This thing flies. They locked out their soul guide lantern. <laughs> <laughs> nice deck building.
strip mine. I didn't want lands anyways. I don't need lands. What is this? Seven mana? What the hell is seven mana? No, it's five mana. Golos? Golos is dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Concede. <laughs> we have polarizes too coming in. Let's go. We got big purple elephants on the go. All right. All we needed was shops. That's all we needed in our lives. Pulverize. How how are they going to possibly beat this card? Sacrifice two mountains rather than pay the mana cost for this card. Destroy all artifacts. All right. Well, we're going to pick out Mental Mist up and probably a bubble. Do we want Mind Break Traps? Nah. Let's just jam. Jam, 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 jam. All right. That was sick. Nice null rod. Okay. Don't null rod me, please. I can't search my basics now if they're going to ghost quarter me, you know? Kind of stupid. Pulverize? The classic purple elephant? Ooh, Mistress Workshop. Uh, and a Sphere of Resistance. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. We got past mana. We might be able to play Luris this game. Berserk. Basic Forest, Box Pearl, Black Lotus. Pass. Now what? Now what? Caracas. Four mana. Three mana spell. Crucible. That could be a problem. Wait, how close are we to Luris? We're one away from Luris. Hmm. Hmm. Feel like we want to try to play Luris here. Should we get a basic mountain chat or should we get a taiga? Let's get a basic mountain. What's a oh, I what if I get ghost quartered though? Let's get a taiga. I can still cast Luris, right? So it's fine. Not right now though. Hopefully they don't play like a revoker or a null rod here. This time null rod actually would be good. Mox, Ruby, Resolves. And? And what? And Ghost Quarter. Ha! I played around it. Let's go. Four mana? Lowstone Golem? Sick. I have my light. I have one Lightning Bolt. Uh, okay. Oh, they do have a Caracas. You, you have, you have spoken truths here. Uh, I mean, it's still correct to go three mana. Oh, wait. I have to use three mana to kill Lodestone Golem. Isn't that kind of a nightmare? Hmm. Should we just go Dragon Rage Channeler uh, Lightning Bolt the Lodestone Golem? Or... I guess we can just go Dragon Rage Channeler Pass and see what they do. Yeah, I guess a Caracas makes my Luris plan really terrible, huh? I could pay five mana for a Luris and then replay my Black Lotus for one and then play my... Yeah, that seems terrible. I could Bolt. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play Dragon Rage Channeler and see what happens. You should be scared, opponent. Scared. Though they do have the Ghost Quarter Crucible lock, so I probably need to start doing things kind of now, right? <laughs> I have one turn of, like, getting something back. Oh, wait. I not. I don't really have one turn, because I can Ghost Quarter and then Ghost Quarter again. Hmm. Hmm. This seems bad for me. I feel like I am going to get locked out of this game. But maybe one Dragon Rage Channeler is good enough, right? I feel like one Dragon Rage Channeler might be good enough. Hmm? What is this? What is this? A Golos? They're not hitting my mana? That's big. Huge. Okay. Is that like a strip mine then? Or is this going to be an Urza Saga? What if we draw a Pulverize? We don't even have two mountains, actually. Might be bad. <laughs> might, might not be good. Shouldn't they have Ghost Quartered first and then replayed Ghost Quarter? 
Oh, they got strip mine. Okay, they're 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 not having any of it. I see. Uh, I guess this is just a lightning bolt, right? All right, surveil time walk. Can't cast that one. Graveyard it. It's a sorcery though. It's actually pretty good, right? Because now I have uh, I am online. I am online. This is good. Pulverize. Oh baby, can I can I so can I probe into a thing maybe? Probe. Any mountains? That's a dragon rage channeling. But if I get strip mined off of red, it's not very good, right? Let's bottom this. So I guess I can just play it right now, right? Isn't that going to be good enough to beat my opponent most times? So they're going to strip mine me and then strip mine me. Is two Dragon Rage Channelers good enough to win from here by itself? Maybe they get a mutagenic growth. I don't think our mana base is that bad. I, I didn't make it so we could cast Lurus, right? Like, I could have made it way worse. I just happened to draw my basic forest. I feel like I do want this. It might just be enough to get there. I don't know if we'll ever ever have two mountains in play, but I think six damage flying might just be good enough because my opponent didn't get an Urza Saga, right? If they had gotten an Urza Saga, I would be a little bit more concerned. Not that I could do much about it because they're still going to take me off of mountains. But I have two Dragon Rage Channelers, and I have... I mean, if they play like a Soul Guide Lantern, it's really bad. But they didn't have an Urza Saga, right? So maybe there's a chance. I guess if they simply strip mine, strip mine, then I will never, ever have two mountains, right? But this might just get the job done. Yeah, I think six damage in the air is good. It's three turns, right? I guess the mutagenic growth is not necessary. So I could mutagenic on my upkeep. I mean, at any point, I could draw a land and play a land and play Berserk for an extra three damage. Doesn't really help me, though. Uh, I mean, we might just race, right? I don't think they still have Tabernacle in. I guess they could have Tabernacle in. That would be bad. I mean, the only way we could have played around that is if we had bottomed... If we had bottomed the Dragon Rage Channeler and drawn a mountain, then we could have pulverized right away, and we could have at least... that We would have at least had that going for us. But, I mean, they're, it looks like they're going for the double strip mine. Because they can't play a Golos this turn, because it costs six... I feel like they're just going to die to these things, right? Oh, they have a Dismember. Does that help or hurt them? Uh, I guess that helps them. We did draw a Foothills. We should, we should play. Because they can't double strip mine me. Oh, I guess they could Ghost Quarter me and then strip mine me. So they can. That's unfortunate. But I don't have enough mana to go Berserk Mutagenic Growth, so it doesn't really make sense. I mean, if they spend their turn attacking my Wooded Foothills, though, it means they're not advancing their game plan, and then we might just win with a 3-3. True? True? Any trues? F press 1 in chat if that's true. Right. 1. At least, alright, if Van says it's true, then it's gotta be true. If they have a second dismember, that could be a problem. That, that could be an issue. Mutagenic Growth does not save our Dragon Rage Channeler. Am I playing on a Smurf account? Kind of. I am playing on the uh, Daybreak provided content creator account. I am simply a lowly magician who does not own Slickshot show-offs. All right, opponent is deep in the tank trying to figure out how to deal with one one mana 3-3 three, three flyer. We did draw the second mountain off probe. This is a that is a true that is a true statement. Uh Ghost Quartor. I mean, is it worth it to like get my mountain here and have them kill my mountain or no? Like it, it's it's like it's time walking them, right? I feel like it's worth it.
because they're not they're not progressing this game fast enough and we don't we have a don't have a four turn clock we have a three turn clock because we have a mutagenic growth off of our mox pearl right so yeah feels correct do we have other good draws in our deck? I guess a second mutagenic growth is good because we could mutagenic growth on this turn and then mutagenic growth on the next turn for a 10 damage in two turns. Um, Is there any other good cards in our deck? I guess uh, a Mox Ruby or a Mox Emerald are both pretty good. Oh, I don't think we're going to mutagenic and upkeep. Though I guess we probably should, right? Like what 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 do we really lose by doing that? We don't have any one drop spells in hand that we can cast anyways. And we get to look at our top card. Um Seems like my opponent's doing a bunch of math, but they don't know about the mutagenic growth. <laughs> Got him. I'm a little sad we didn't pulverize, but I feel like this was the better line. Oh, wait, do we die first? No, we don't die first. Yeah, I, I that's a good point. A second sphere is a, is a very good point. Let's, let's mutagenic growth and upkeep here. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. Oh my lord, chat. We are doing it. We are doing it. Let's go. Clap, 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 clap. I guess we can get dismembered here, but that's about it. There's kind of no way to play around that, so... <laughs> Suck it, chops. <laughs> okay, we are one and one. That's a great start. It's already better than our last uh league with Slick Shot Show Off. This hand kind of slaps. They're on Luris Saga, or they're on Luris plus something. Probably a saga. <laughs> maybe a wasteland. Maybe a breach. Maybe a PO. Who knows? Maybe they're getting spicy, a little Oswat fiddle, fiddle bender. You can kind of play most things that cost uh, less than two if they're a permanent, or less than three if they're a permanent. And uh... yeah, I'm definitely down to keep this many creatures. Seems pretty strong. Mirror, Mox Jet, and Urza Saga, and oh, Basic Island. Ooh, what kind of Basic Island is this? A Knife Basic Island. Uh, I don't know what that set is. A sense sensei's top is a bad sign. That means they're gonna we're gonna get PO'd again. That is that is not a good sign. All right, we have to make a choice here, chat. Do we want to go fetch land pearl pass end of turn seek the beast, or do we want to go fetch basic? Uh, probably fetch volcanic. Fetch fetch volcanic. Fetch volcanic. Dragon Rage Channeler, Mox Pearl. Mm, I feel like we don't need to do that. I don't feel like it's bad either. We could even wait, but I, yeah, we could even wait till the next turn and then go Dragon Rage Channeler, Dragon Rage Channel, or second Dragon Rage Channeler plus Mox Pearl. Damn, this deck has some weird sequencing, huh? Hmm. Oh, I guess theoretically, yeah, I want to fetch first, right? Hmm. I don't know. We're probably just going to die to PO. Let's be real here. Uh, our deck is not really situated in a world where we're going to be able to play against a PO combo deck. If my opponent was on, like, the Luris Saga control deck that's supposed to be 20% of the field or whatever, then I feel like our matchup is actually pretty good. Because they don't, they're not really doing anything powerful fast. But the PO deck can just kill you on turn one. Kind of just the nature of vintage, right? Spin the top. Look for a mental misstep, I assume. I'm going to hold this pearl, and then next turn we'll go Dragon Rage Channeler, Pearl, and then we can seek the beast if we want. Maybe we can just mill enough cards with Underworld Breach where we can go off and kill our opponent. I, I guess not, because this is not one of the growers, but... I mean, if you have two Dragon Rage Channelers and an Underworld Breach, it feels like, oh, they have a Strip Mine. 
I guess fetching a basic would not have solved any of our issues here, so. One strip mine can be in the combo-oriented version, though. So we'll have to see how that shakes out here. Uh, we can still play Dragon Rage Channeler plus Pearl on double trigger, though. So not the worst. We might even Mutagenic Growth to get flying, right? Let's see what happens. Uh, Dragon Rage Channeler. And then... Does this resolve? All right. Then Mox Pearl trigger my Dragon Rage Channelers. Uh, Mox Ruby. Damn. I feel like I want a Mox Ruby, but an artifact in my yard seems pretty important. So let's put it in my yard. And then Underworld Breach is an enchantment in my yard. I don't feel like I need a second Underworld Breach. Okay, so now my Mutagenic Growth is actually going to deal the extra damage, right? So I feel like that's a good play, too. Uh, is there any reason to Mutagenic Growth pre... No, not really. I guess they could flash in... A Bowmaster... But wouldn't they have already played a Bowmaster if they had a Bowmaster? Alright, well, I am going to pump my attacking creature with my Mutagenic Growth. Mm, I kind of doubt that. Alright, well, now they have a Spell Pierce. That doesn't matter, though. That's fine. We don't care about that. We're still putting cards in our yard. Uh, Monastery Swift Spear. So I could go Monastery, Swift Spear, plus Underworld Breach. Is that good? We don't have a Bobble in our yard. We have a Mutagenic Growth, though. We also have a Ruby. I feel like it could be good. We don't need more card types in our yard, but we do want to put more cards in our yard. I kind of just want to bin like all these cards, right? Oh, but we need a pump. We need a creature that. Oh no, we do need a. We need. We do need a Swiss spear because we want something that actually pumps here. But I guess we had mutagenic growth, so maybe it's fine. So we just draw for go for berserk and try to berserk them. That might work too. Uh, I, I like I like I said, this is not a style of deck that I am remotely accustomed. I mean, I did used to play this kind of deck in the past, but it's been many years. Well, I think berserk should represent lethal, right? Because we can go Taiga, Breach, Mutagenic Growth, hopefully a couple times, and then Berserk something. I feel like that should work. Hopefully they tap out by Lurus or something. They only have three cards in hand. The Mutagenics by themselves are lethal. Okay. I So it's what? Each one of these things puts uh, two spells in the yard. And then we need... Alright, so if they don't have a Force here, they just die. That's pretty good. Maybe I just shouldn't have kept the Berserk on the top of the library then. Alright, so... I have an Underworld Breach, and then every time I cast a spell, two go into my yard, and I need to pay three, so that's like a lot of... Oh, they have a Force on top? Alright, that means we might lose, right? Damn. Okay, so I should definitely have kept Swift Spear then. Okay, so they have one card left in hand, and we have Flyers. We hit for six, and then next turn we can Mutagenic Growth plus Berserk and kill them, hopefully. I feel like we just top it and then try to kill them next turn. I mean, we definitely have Lethal next turn. Like well, Even just uh, Mutagenic plus Berserk is uh, 10 damage, right? So they have one card in hand, so you just have to draw, they have to not have Time Walk or not have uh, Manifold Key right now, right? I guess they could not have Spell Pierce. Um, I guess they just have a Sensei's Top in their deck, right? So they probably do have Bowmaster then. If they have Spell Pierce, probably? Alright. So we have to just avoid a counter spell here and we'll be good. So, is there any reason to not attack and... Like, we could Questing Druid into Black Lotus Slick Shot, I guess. Uh, it's a little late for that. I guess we're just going in. Alright, I'm going to cast Mutagenic Growth on my Dragon Rage Channeler. I 
I guess we theoretically could find a mental misstep on the top of our library, and then... Yeah, and then this doesn't go to anything. That would be something we could draw into with the Questing Druid if we needed to. Ancestral Recall. I don't need that card. Alright, I will Berserk my Dragon Rage Channeler. Uh, they need to spin for a Fluster Storm. Because Spell Pierce doesn't do it, so it has to be a Fluster Storm. They have one Fluster Storm in the deck, probably. Mental Misstep could do it. Yeah, Mental Misstep could do it. Nice! Nice! Let's go! Okay, so what, we need to be a little bit careful our next game about uh, Bowman. I didn't really think they would be on um, control with a Sensei Stop. But Spell Pierce kind of makes me feel like it's control. Um, uh, We didn't see P.O., so I'm not going to bring in Pyroblast. I'm probably going to run back this. Deck's perfect, as is. I kind of... I don't know. This is uh, not the kind of magic I would play all the time. But it is a style of magic that I greatly enjoy. It's one of the cool, like, macro-level strategies that I like to exist in a format, but not be a focal point of the format. How do I feel about Berserking? The one, I didn't mutagenic growth. It would still be 11 damage and make removal spells less effective. Well... Less effective is irrelevant because if they take an extra turn, they we lose because they have infinite turns. Um, but you're probably right in general. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Swiss Spear, Bobble, Berserk, Growth, Druid. Sure. 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 Sorry. Keep. F6 value. Yo! Thank you for the 18 months. Appreciate that. Wasteland? Okay, so they are on control. They just kept Wasteland go? Interesting. We got a basic mountain to fetch, so we're in a good spot here. Uh, we also have none of the things that die to a Bowmaster, which you like to see. All right, I have my basic mountain. I have my Swifty. My T-Swifty. Uh, I'm going to play a bobble because I want to see if I can draw a land. If my opponent countered this, would I play a bobble? Yeah, I probably still would play a bobble. T Swifty in the house. Show me your secrets. Uh, they have a dark confidant on the top of their library. No caustic broncos for my opponent. Only the true OG Bob himself. Though, I guess... This art does not make it the true OG. But it's not a horse. Ah, Cycle Lorian revealed. Oh, it's a dismember. F3, F3, F3. Oh! I had the mutagenic growth. Sorry, chat. I didn't think that deck played dismember. <laughs> uh, exclamation mark F6. That's my ball. That's my bad. That's my bad. I, I really did not think my opponent's deck played Dismember. That's my fault. Uh, did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. I wanted to get the F6 value. Hotkeys, exclamation mark hotkeys, exclamation mark F6. They don't. They kept a one land Dismember Soul Guide Lantern hand? What a beast. I'd love a land drop here. Slick shot show off. Uh, hmm. Kind of thinking. Uh, should we plot? Is it ever correct to plot? Any or should we? Should we got? Yeah, I mean, but like mutagenic growth thing against this member to save the swift spear is like the craziest stuff. The craziest stuff. Always plot. I don't know about always plot. Then they just counter it on the next turn. I'm like also interested in seeking the beast and trying to find a land drop, right? 
Uh, I don't really want to miss a land drop here. I guess I played a ruby. Yeah, but if I que if I questing druid and hit no land drops, like how bad is that for me? It's so bad. What is the downside of plotting? Well, if they draw a force of will, they can force it on the next turn. If they, uh, if I lose one damage, um, uh, but if there's upsides like I can't get removed by it, sorcery speed and removal. What about like end of turn questing druid? Is that not better? Uh, all right, I'm gonna plot the seek the beast, I guess, or plot the slick shot. I don't know why. Let's try it. I really wish I had an F6 there. I'm so sorry. I saw them starting to pay life, and I tried to F3 fast enough. I just did not do it. Oh, uh, what what deck plays what which blue black deck plays dismember and bob? Wait, what wait, what is this deck? Who made this deck? <laughs> it's my bad. I take I take ownership of the mistake. It is my fault. Yeah, I was just saving the the growth for the Berserk that we're going to cast, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Opponent is reading plot. Fair enough. Do they have a land drop? Like, what did they keep? Dismember, double wasteland, soul guide lantern? What's happening? Well, I use F2 mostly when I... I just did, like... I did not expect to need to cast a spell. So I hit F6. <laughs> Uh, Ancestral Recall. God bless. Okay, I'm going to cast without paying its mana cost my Slick Shot Show off. And then I'm going to cast Questing Druid, seek Seeking the Beast. Uh, trying to hit a land drop here. Okay, they forced the Slick Shot Show off, Pitching Force. I kind of feel like these were probably in their hand already based on their keep. I guess, theoretically, I could hit something here. So I guess we should Seek the Beast. I need a land drop. I hit the Black Lotus. That's interesting. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. They don't have another counter, right? I can cast Ancestral, right? I feel like casting Ancestral here is the best play. No, I didn't draw a land. Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like I needed. I should maybe have looked at my top card first, actually. Their top card, or they have a. I know they have a Bob in hand. All right, whatever. I think it's supposed to cast these because I think having cards is better. Oh, no, that is not what we we're looking for. Do these stack on top of each other? I guess they do. But I don't have any green mana. <laughs> Uh, all right. I don't know. Like, I could have played Swift Spear and Bolt and Mutagenic Growth, but I, I just didn't think that was good. What is this? Oh, Cycle the Soul Guide Lantern. Aha! I have an Underworld Breach. This is sick. That's actually so good for us. All right, we drew a Mutagenic Growth and a Berserk. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we can go Underworld Breach, Black Lotus, Show Off. I don't know. They're playing a bob here. Yeah, but I don't have any mana. I've tried very hard to find mana, and I have been unsuccessful. All right. If they play a bob here, we'll go Swiss Beer Bolt, yeah? Oh, they have a second Soul Guide Lantern. That's evil. That's that's inherently evil. All right, rip that plan. Uh, I have a mental misstep. Should I just play breach to make them pop the soul guide lantern, or should I wait? Like they might draw another card. No, no, no. This is game two. Yeah, we kill them in game one. All right, I will play monastery whisper. I will attack for one. I'm going to hold this bolt because I do want to be able to bolt a... Um, I do want to be able to bolt a bob. 
I'm going to let them draw with this Lantern if they want. Because this Breach is really nice looking. I guess the Lotus is gone, so I guess it's not very nice looking. Never mind. Maybe I should just jam Breach and made him crack a Lantern. That's Triple Wasteland. Hmm. I got a Mountain, though. Surely they'll play Bob, yeah? No? So they're holding up what? Spell Pierce? Dismember? Fatal Push? Something? Foothills. Let's go. Should we go to should we go to town here? I feel like we should go to town. We have a mental misstep. So feels good, right? Oh, 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 it's a bow master. Oh, it's a bow master. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. So we can just still kill them with Berserk, right? Because it's tramples. See? See. Uh okay. Uh okay. Alright. Eutogenic growth on my monastery swift spear. I'm going in, chat. They're tapped out. I know they have a bob in hand. It's time. Mutagenic growth on my Monastery Swift Spear. Should I Lightning Bolt their face? Face place. What's the harm, really? I guess if they have Mind Break Trap is the harm. Sorry is not happy. <laughs> sorry, sorry is a is a wee bit sad. It seems they did draw a triple wasteland, so I do understand. Oh, I guess they could pop this soul guide lantern for a force, huh? I guess this could get countered, in which case we popped a bunch of things for no reason. That would be kind of bad. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, I respond. I respond. Aha. I have outmaneuvered my opponent. Taiga Gaming. I should have got a basic forest. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's fine. This game is not lasting any longer. To the dome. Yes. 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 I guess they could, uh, yeah, Dismember doesn't even do it anymore, right? 18, 18, 10 trample. To the dome. <laughs> yes, very nice. <laughs> Who needs infect, really? That's something else right there. All right, two and one. We got a cat. Does the opponent have a cat? Cat gaming? No cat gaming. All right, what do we have on our turn here? We have we have a one drop. That kind of helps. Technically, we have a Lotus Petal as well. Uh, it is an event. Team Serious Invitational. Should be more of a community-focused vintage event. Drinking and eating and... Should be fun. I'm excited. We're road tripping out there. It's gonna be a long drive. Uh, no Luris Polluted Delta makes me think I'm probably okay to just fetch another non-basic here. I mean, I am really scared. Like, if my opponent plays a Doomsday, what? I, my deck doesn't do anything, right? My deck just dies to a Doomsday. I guess that's most decks, though, so... I guess we can, at the very least, we can bobble them and see. Definitely don't need a forest. All right, show me your secrets. What do you got? It's got a... <laughs> what? They have a long goodbye. All right, well, I guess that means we're getting oathed, right? Or maybe bugged or something? Uh, I guess I'm supposed to play this pedal out. Try to find uh, something good for next turn. I don't feel like bobble is something good, though. I don't know. I don't know what something good is, though. 
maybe ancestral recall. <laughs> no, I mean they're definitely not doomsday if they have a long goodbye. I don't. I, I assume they're oath or bug is what I would assume. I sure hope they're not oath. I can't really do it. Oh, what the? F That's a tundra. Hello. Uh, what is happening? Are we, are we just Esper Control Gaming? No Luris? Esper Tinker Gaming? Time Walking? What is going on? What is happening? I am thoroughly confused. Any knowers? Just three blue fetch uh, dual lands and a go. Huh. That doesn't seem like a good idea, Raphael. You should probably book it. It's going to go up. Is a uh, is a uh, four seasons this weekend or is is there like a uh, something else happening? Someone was asking me about Molino. Uh, I'm going to play a Dragon Rage Channeler. And then I'm going to play an Urza's Bobble. And then I'm going to surveil a million. This one that we're going to cast here, or the one we leave on top here, we might... Oh, I guess if we're drawing with a Bobble, then... What's the one I... They have swords? Oh, no, they have long goodbye. Okay. Feel like... Wait, they're hitting the one that doesn't have haste? I don't understand. They have sword as well, then? I'm so confused. I don't need any more lands. Mm. Oh, so what's this weekend? Why is somebody in Bo in Bologna? Is there, a, is there a GP thing? Yeah, he did, I did hear about that. All right. I don't feel like this is a Berserk matchup here. Let's just keep bottoming shit. All right. Show me your secrets. Force of Will is in the opponent's hand. All right. Well, I'm going to attack. And I'm going to really hope my questing druid resolves, which I feel like it's not going to. But. Mental misstep. That could be interesting. I did get in for three, though, for some reason, because my opponent long goodbye the one that was summoning sick for some reason. Oh, maybe. That might be it. Wasteland? Oh, no. Well, that's a problem. Until... Oh, wait. It's till my next end step? Wow. That's kind of broken, isn't it? Excel the top card of your library until my next end step. I guess I can cast it then. That's kind of great. I didn't even know that. I feel like I've been playing this card wrong the whole time. Reading the card explains the card or something. All right, well, I will try Seeking the Beast. No, no, I don't know, maybe. Who knows? All right, I, I, I've i been, like, half the lands in my deck. It resolves? Sick. I got a Ruby and another Questing Druid. Wait, I, I can Seek the Beast off the Seek the Beast, yeah? <coughs> True. Three, three, three. This is a mentor, mentor, Monastery Mentor. An Opposition Agent. Oh, I see. All right, well, Ruby does not trigger Questing Druid. So I'm thinking cast Ruby. This is all I got. If I keep this on top, I might hit it with my Questing Druid. Uh, Underworld Breach. That's got to be nuts, right? I feel like that has got to be nuts. I feel like we want to keep that. The, well, the problem with keeping this is I can't seek the beast into it. Meh. That's a problem, right? Because I want to cast Seek the Beast this turn, I feel like. Uh... Until your next end step. But I can only cast these until my next end step. So at my end step... Don't can't I not cast them anymore or how does that work? 
Like, once I get to my end step, I can no longer cast these, right? So I don't feel like that works. I'm assuming. All right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like this breach is good, right? I've got petals and baubles, and it's got to be nuts. I guess I could just cast a questing druid if I wanted to, right? Maybe I should just do that. Oh, how do I know which one is the questing druid that's in exile? I have no idea. Oh, wait, no, I will be, I'll be able to tell because... All right, I'm going to do that. Top. I'll be able to tell because it's the one I can cast. <laughs> Seek the beast wise. Oh, but they have a force of will still. Is this really what I want to be doing? I feel like it is. It's a must force, right? Like, I'm going to cast a million spells from my guard. I can even go pedal into Dragon Rage Channeler and have two Dragon Rage Channeler. That's nuts. That's got to be insane. Breach looks like it's always, like, super lethal. All right, so one of these, I can seek the beast. And one of these, I cannot seek the beast. So I will cast... Why do I feel like I'm going to get dazed here? Uh, I will... I will play a tropical island and I will cast and I will cat I will cast this questing druid. All right, it resolved. Uh I will attack. I could kill this opposition agent. Should I kill this opposition agent? Is that worth doing? I don't feel like I care about an opposition agent, right? Like I, I'm, not, I'm I just don't crack any fetch lands, and I don't care about an opposition agent at all. I don't care about an opposition agent. Let's hold the berserk for lethal. We haven't cast any uh, removal spell berserks recently, so I just felt like I should check back in. All right. I mean, next turn I cast an underworld breach, and they counter it. Maybe I should I should go questing druid and then oh they have another wasteland. Annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother floating. It's not worth my time. They need to attack for a berserk to be removal. Target creature gains trample at end of turn. Why? Can I just cast it on my turn? Only before combat damage? And then at the end step it dies? Oh, it only if it's attacked. Ah, I don't know if I've ever actually done this then. I see. There's no way they attack, right? What the? They're 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 a mad lad. Okay. Can't believe they attacked. They have another creature then? Monastery mentor? I just assume monastery mentor is happening, right? If opposition agent is happening. I feel like monastery mentor is happening. They have force two unknowns in hand. So am I just getting my breach countered then? What is this? What is this? Bowmaster? Oh no. That's bad. I didn't really think they had Bowmaster. Alright, well I didn't play around that very well. Hmm. I mean they have to have a blue card here, though I guess we gotta be careful with how many cards we draw. Though I don't even have a way to pump in my yard, so maybe I'm actually in trouble. Maybe they'll force this Questing Druid, then. I feel like I should cast Questing Druid. So I guess if they have a second Bowmaster, I look kind of silly. I guess maybe I should have held open... I don't know. I was kind of hoping they would just force it, but... It didn't happen. Another Wasteland! Uh oh I guess multiple berserkers would I, I just I just assumed my opponent would have force my breach. So I was trying to like bait up force. That's the third wasteland. That's crazy. Just really hope they like I just don't think they're gonna do anything. They're just attacking with everything. Whatever, sure. You got it.
All right. So bobble doesn't do very much. I guess we just cast breach. This actually pumps my druid too. I don't really want to bobble. I mean, if this resolves, we just win. Oh, we we just we just win, right? Uh, pedal. Time walk. I feel like that's good too. I mean, I just bin everything at this point, right? I feel like first we just play another under a dragon rage channeler. So they just didn't have a blue card for force. It's kind of wild. So I'm pretty sure this is lethal no matter what, right? Because we're going to berserk both of them. I feel like I can just always yield. And Is there a way to always bin? I feel like there isn't a way to always bin. And then I should crack this. I can see their other card. That's, I still, still saw Force of Will. Oh, I can play three Dragon Rage Channelers, and then I can play my whole deck, right? Well, this is pretty freaking cool, huh? Wait, I have four Dragon Rage Channelers now. Or is this is this not good anymore? Well, I guess I'm just gonna find another one later, right? So Okay, so now I have infinite mana. Wow. I should play the, the fourth one for fun. Wait, this is kind of fun. I like it. <gasps> I hit a black lotus. It's even better. Hold on. I guess I don't need time walk anymore because I have a lightning bolt. Oh, I have to cast a spell from my hand now. That's fine. I have spells in my hand. I can even mental misstep it for fun. I'm having fun. My opponent wants to let me sit here and do this. I'm down. I guess they probably want to see my deck, right? Considering my deck is... uh. Something. I just want to play around a removal spell. I feel like that's a normal thing to do, right? <gasps> Woo! I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah I, i'm just playing around a removal spell and getting to enjoy the mechanics of it I, i'll i'll stop soon <laughs> i'm sorry
Isn't this like way more fun though? Another berserk. We can do another berserk. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun though. Who wouldn't want to do this? Oh, I, I forgot to let's scale this thing up. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's turn it into a lizard. Oh, I get rid of all the berserks. Sorry. All right, all right, all right. I've had enough fun. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, I will I will play the Black Lotus. Oh, it's fine. I I I will attack for lethal here. <laughs> uh, that was fun. What if they had like another bowmaster or something? <laughs> uh, hold on, I want a picture of that too. We could have overloaded scale up. Oh my, we we punted. We we ap we absolutely punted not overloading scale up. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if I've ever overloaded a scale up. <laughs> uh, all right, so my opponent, what are they playing? I forgot. Esper control. Uh, I'll just submit. I don't really care. Oh, what a great time that was. No one in the history of the game has ever overloaded a scale up. Let's let's be real here. Maybe in limited. I should have overloaded scale up. Now I'm disappointed in myself. That would have been a, a memeable moment. Oh, this has been fun. This has been a good this has been a good stream so far. I feel like we've been at the exact right power level that I was thinking we would be at. I mean, there's no way my opponent is sitting through that again. <laughs> Do I have any opinions? Oh man, let me tell you. I, I am an opinion haver. I got all kinds of opinions. <laughs> Yeah, countervine. Yeah, countervine is a a, a godforsaken blight on this earth, uh, and a pretty playable vintage deck. It's got a, some problems in the current meta game, which make it less playable than it it has been previously. Um, but it, it's still viable enough. It's one of the uh, cheapest fifteen proxy decks you can play. All the bizarre decks are. All right, this hand has lands, moxes, petals, bobbles, and no creatures. It's still a keep, though, right? Like we just keep, we just keep seven against this whatever they're doing. We'll find creatures. I have sixteen creatures in this deck. Isn't that a lot of creatures? But I, I felt like the last time we played, we didn't have enough creatures. I think we might have had twelve the last time. Sixteen this time. Seek the Beast is kind of a creature. It really is, though. We cast it a lot. And it's a miracle grow. That card is awesome. That might be one of my uh, favorite. I don't know. Underrated is the right word. Um, but uh, I really enjoy the questing druid. Do I ever miss slash panther? Nah. What is this? What is this? We're not, what is this? What is this? What is this? We're a fluster storming my Gataxian probe. Hello? Excuse me? That's a thing we're doing? All right. I didn't want to see what was in the hand. I'm going to look anyways. Give me your secrets. Show me a secret, I guess. Wasteland. All right. Noted. Noted. I'm going to play the Ruby out in case the uh, the bobble draw hits a Seek the Beast. That is not a Seek the Beast. Not a bad card, though. Not a bad card. I do enjoy that card. I have two basics in my deck, by the way. So I'm going to go fetch a uh, mountain and a forest so that we don't get wastelanded 
Uh, Graf Digger's Cage. Aha, they have been scared. They have been scared by the breaches. Fair enough. It was a scary, it was a scary moment in time. We did go through our entire deck, so. A bobble. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, okay. First we go fetch. And then we go mountain. And then we go slick shot. Oh, I could get dazed. Oh, please don't daze me. For sake. I should just play the fucking wooded foothills out. Uh okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There's no way they have days in their deck. Um, and then we'll play bobble uh, pedal and bobble and we'll check our top. Oh, they have force. Oh, that is a pole breacher has been pitched. They have one card left. All right, well, at least I can bobble myself here and see if I want my top card. Do I want my top card? No, I don't want that. So I will crack, play this, and I will crack this, and I will go get a basic forest. Haha. -ha. All right, you go, opponent. You have one card in hand. You have Island Cage Wasteland. I think you have gone too far. I do a Dragon Race Channeler. Very nice. That attacks. I'm all about attacking. F6. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh... Questing Druid. I like that, too. Um, I'm thinking we start with a Seek the Beast, yeah? I guess that runs into a Fluster Storm number two. So maybe we just go... Hmm. 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 Wait, does it stop me? Creatures and uh, Graveyards and Libraries. Uh, graveyards and Libraries. Oh, no, it's Exile. Okay. Uh, I think we just jam it, yeah? Jam it? Any jammers? I feel like this is a jamming moment. Let's jam. What, what am I not going to be able to play off this? Nothing. Nothing. I guess if I get Flusterstorm, I will be very sad. Ooh. I like all of that. Uh, what is the order we want to do these things in? So I can go Swift Spear, Mox, and then Questing Druid. I could go Land, Questing Druid... Hmm. I think I'm just going to go Swift Spear. Wow, God, I, there's like a million ways I can do this. Uh, I don't know. I gave up. Sorry, chat. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think about it. I it, it confused me, and I decided to let it go. <laughs> I I was I, I was so over it. <laughs> uh, that's what the high life does to you. There is an ideal sequence there. I'll you know what, you know what, I did it on purpose. I wanted to leave it as a chat puzzle. So, YouTube watchers of the future. You can pause the video back at the start of that Seeking the Druid, and you can tell me the exact correct sequence in the comments below. Ugh, I'm so good at this. Bobble. Mutagenic Growth. I kind of want that one, right? Let's top that one. Let's check out your top card. Sundra. Oh, that could be Swords of Plowshares. I wonder if we're supposed to go a little all in here then. Are there any good ber Berserks here? If we were to Berserk the Dragon Rage Channeler, it would hit for 6, and we would hit for uh, 12 and 15. So I guess I shouldn't have kept the spell on top. I should not have kept the spell on top. All right, well, whatever. I'm, I'm in. I'll, I'll mill it now. I'll mill it now. Oh, this doesn't pump my stupid druid because it's a green spell. God bless. That happened last time we played this deck, too. <laughs> Who plays green spells, really? All right. 
Uh, take a lot. 11. 11? That's a lot less than I thought. All right, well, it's still lethal next turn, probably. Let me just uh, buy a cat in case I draw Black Lotus, right? All right, goodbye. I just lightning bolted and killed my own Dragon Rage Channeler for fun. Ooh, well, okay. All right, they have white mana balance. Any balances? No. Well, they're currently not dead on board, I guess, so... Oh, man, that card is so good. Jesus. All right, yeah. This card... I love this card. I I adore this card. This card is just great design. Lots of fun. Does great things. I love it. <laughs> Underworld Breach. Sure. Let's go Questing Druid, and we'll cast Underworld Breach for the, the funsies here. I can't do anything with my Underworld Breach, but it did trigger Prowess, so who's the real winner? Hint, it's me! Wait, is it that good? Welcome to the fifth and final round of this Vintage League. W what was the results of that, uh, of the prediction? Whoa, it's a close prediction. Not a lot of, uh, PO points. Uh, 120k PO points on the line. A very close prediction. Will we go 4-1? We'll have to see. Ah, that is a lot of one-drop red creatures. I'll try it. No Luris on the other side. What are they gaming with today? What do you have for us? A Mishra's Workshop. Oh, please don't be Jewel. Our deck can't be Jewel. Oh no, not Jewel. This is it like a, a one ring? We'll just die. We'll just die. We'll just we'll just roll over and die. We have four mind break traps in the sideboard though. I don't think pulverize does enough though. <laughs> Hopefully they're on uh, just normal shops. Play like a lodestone golem, and then I can go mox emerald lightning bolt. Oh, play a lodestone golem. That would be great. Do that. Come on, opponent. I think they played Jewel though. Oh, it is shops. Let's go. And it's creature spells cost one more. Or non creature spells. And revoker. All right, we're doing it. We're. <laughs> yes, yes. We know shops can't beat a 3 3 flyer, so maybe it is a 4 1. That's a good start, though. It's a very strong start. What are they named? Black Lotus, I assume? Mistress Bobble, maybe? Nice. Mistress Bobble. Reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, I am gonna go with fetch a basic mountain, and this tropical island looks terrible, huh? Uh, I'm gonna fetch a basic mountain, and I am going to play Dragon Rage Chandler. Boop! You remove opponent. We are a little behind, because we lost the die roll. I don't advise that, typically. <coughs> is this gonna be a Golos? Golos is bad for me. Oh, it's a Mystic Forge. That could also be bad for me. I'm gonna close this game out real quick. All right, they have decided no attacks. Wooded Foothills, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. I like that. Let's go... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I kind of want to go Trop, Emerald, Bolt the Revoker get in there and it, it, it gets our mana going here trop yeah I, I think i like that the most trop i want to get the i want to get the uh the emerald going and this tropical island is a good way to use it uh i don't think i need another land here i i want to bin that I'm gonna bolt this. And then pretty much binning everything from here. Yeah, definitely been an artifact. Alright, so I'm one away from flying. I have a bunch of mana now, and I have some more creatures coming. I like the spot. I mean, 
things could get pretty dicey pretty quick off this Mystic Forge, but they do have a Thorn that help, might slow that down a little bit. Oh, all right. They got rid of a Crucible. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we're crushing it. Ooh, Patrick Automaton's a good one here. That's a good one here. Hmm. Hmm. A sphere resistance. That's annoying. That is very annoying. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Bobble. Alright, so I am gonna go get a Taiga and I'm gonna play another Dragon Rage channeler. Um and then I'll play a bobble. And that'll trigger two of these. That's an instant. We don't want that mutagenic growth. That's a land. We don't want that. Wait, I'm, I didn't actually hit a thing to go in my yard. Oh, that's not good. Strip mine on the top. Uh, all right. Well, I can't attack. Not ideal. Not ideal. We kind of need to attack our opponent before we get forged out of this game here. A booble. Another booble. Uh, what do I need? A sorcery or a creature? Hmm. A crucible of worlds. Oh, so they have crucible strip mine lock now. Uh, that's not good. That is that is that is not that is not good. That is all right. I mean, we at least should have attackers soon. I hope. Uh, things are bad though. Unigenic growth. Uh, all right, I am going to cast a bobble, and I'm going to mill a ancestral recall. Yeah, I've milled a lot of ancestral recalls in this game. Oh no, I still didn't hit something. Oh, we're. I think we're going to die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I guess we still have this costs two though. Damn. Uh, all right. Well, that's not great. That's bad. I can't. I, I, I can't. I might play it next turn because I'm running out of stuff. Forest. I mean, they have strip mine. They don't even have wasteland. Ah. Not ideal. Not ideal. Things are bad. Things are very bad. I just was not able to turn on my Dragon Rage channelers. I've gone like 12 cards into my yard here. Not good. Not good. This at least lets me cast Swiss Spear this turn and then Mutagenic on the next turn, I guess. I mean, I probably have to cast Mutagenic on my upkeep, really. Because I really need to get in. Uh, I mean, we're just going to die to anything they cast, though. If these things had flipped and at any time during this game, we would be very favored, I would think. But another sphere. All right. Well, now I can't even upkeep it. It's a four-four now. Uh, another dragon rage. I needed to mill a dragon rage channeler. That's what I needed to mill. All right. I'm going to cast mutagenic growth. I mean, I, I, this doesn't actually race, right? All right, there's a creature in my yard. Uh, Breach, I can't do anything with. Oh, I, I hit both of the things that make it happen immediately. All right. Well, it's just too late, though, right? How am I going to play a creature and block? I, <laughs> they're going to strip mine me, and a creature costs three. If they don't play another spell this turn, I guess, then I technically am winning, but. Maybe they need a land to play a spell, and then. Like, I, ha I have to get the dragon things on my. Oh, alright. Wait, 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 we have a chance, we have a chance, we have a chance. What is this? Uh, oh. Oh, we don't have a chance. Oh, no, we're dead. Yeah. All right, we need a mutagenic growth. Mutagenic growth does it, right? How many do I have left? One. 
A land does it? A land does it? A land does it. Any land does it. Land? Come on, come on, land. Let's go! Do 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 do. Berserk. Wow, shops just cannot beat three three flyers for one. Crazy. Wild. It's gotta be our best matchup. <laughs> Pow. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, why is this deck just crushing everything? <laughs> uh, all right, all right. We get to bring in the purple elephant, too. You do love a purple elephant, huh? All right, we're going to take out Mental Misstep, and we will take out a Urza's Bobble. Bring in two purple elephants. They actually have a lot of... Um, I feel like Pyrokinesis is not actually that good, though. Because, like, killing Revoker doesn't actually matter very much. Hmm. Well, let's just play this back like this. Purple Elephant. Yeah. Yeah, I love Purple Elephant. I'm excited. This was a great league. This was a, this was a fun time, chat. I hope we can win 4-1. Me, go 0-5 with real deck. Go 4-1 with 4, four Berserk. Classic. I hope we pulverize. Last time I chose not to pulverize because it was correct, and I felt bad about it. All right, I have a cat. I'm on the draw. I don't have any mind break traps in. This is only one land in this hand. Uh, I don't think we can keep this. I don't think we can keep this. One land against workshops just doesn't feel right. I'm going to mulligan this and look for a better hand. Yeah, okay, this is better. This is definitely better. Um, Question mark on what we want to do with this hand, though. We have lots of choices, though. I think we just put back the mutagenic growth for now, and we keep all the other stuff. All right. All right, show me your worst. Trinosphere. Mox. Talarian. Sphere? Chalice on one? All right. I don't think I actually wanted you to show me your worst. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. We have 22 one-drops in our deck. Hmm, okay. All right. Noted. Noted. Uh, noted. Let's look at a card in their hand. They have a Crucible of Worlds in hand. All right, I'm going to Time Walk. Uh, and then I can draw a, little, a Black Lotus and play a Lurus. Yeah. Agreed. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's a good one, too. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's seek the beast, then. Seek the beast. I hit a one drop and a one drop. Noted. Okay, I will play Monk's Jet, and I will fetch a basic forest. Uh, maybe I'll fetch something else. What if they have a ghost? If they have a ghost quarter, I get fucked anyways. No, let's face let's face the forest. And I'm gonna play my questing druid. All right, so okay, we cleared the top of our library from uh, nonsense. We don't need those cards anyways. All right, now what, opponent? Now what? Maybe we'll hard cast pulverize. Ancient tomb. Crucible of Worlds. Oh, Nettle Cyst. Sure. Sure. I kind of want to pulverize, honestly. Uh, and Crucible. Okay. All right. Okay. Any purple elephants? Berserk. Not ideal. Uh, this seems bad for me. Let's buy Luris. In case we draw a Petal, a Lotus, or a Pearl. 
And then I guess we'll just pass. No, I feel like we should hold the Death Rage, uh, the Dragon Rage Channeler. I don't feel like Pump does anything for us here. Mm hmm. Crucible number two. And a sphere. Okay, come on. Purple elephant. Please, we deserve a purple elephant, right? Or, like, at least a, a black lotus. Oh, what? Tabernacle. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. An assault strobe. <laughs> Not ideal, not ideal. All right, should we throw a bunch of stuff at this druid here or no? We're attacking for three. It's not very fast. I feel like we should just hold for purple elephant, yeah? No? It's not really helping us. Should we just block with this questing druid? We probably should just block with this questing druid. All right, we really could use a purple elephant. I mean, don't we just die? You can't you can't do it after damage. You have to do it before the damage step. That's not how this works. Also, it gets countered. There's a chalice in play. Chat, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Come on. Go easy on me here. Jeez. They're just making me double check everything. All right, it's fine. We just need to draw a purple elephant before we get wastelanded. Easy. We have two in our deck. I was not ready for the chalice on one, I, I must admit. I, I think we just win-win if if we draw purple elephant, so... I'm gonna have to chump block. I'm gonna chump block. I'm gonna chump block. Like, if they draw, I guess I just lose to another nettle system. Maybe there's no reason to chump block. Uh, but if I chump block, I can buy it back with Luris. But I, if I, like, if I draw a black lotus, can I play Luris and then buy it back? Maybe? I drew another quest. Can I cast Pulverize off of this thing? I can. Oh, please. Red, 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 kind of. Elephant? No elephant. No, I hit a pearl though. I did hit a pearl. So I can technically cast Luris next turn. We're not dead, right? So. I can't cast, unless I draw a land, I can't cast Questing Druid off of Luris though, which I kind of need to do so I can chump block. What did they draw? They draw another Nettle Cyst? Oh, they drew a Soul Ring. Countered! Um, so if I draw a land, then I can go four mana for Luris and three mana to buy this druid out of my yard and chump block every turn. So that's good. Uh, might not be enough, but it's good. How about a purple elephant? Scale up. Why are we like this? So I feel like I should not cast Luris. Well, no, I should cast Luris and then buy back a bo uh, uh, wait, where's my black lotus? Oh, I don't have a black lotus. Uh, I should just play this questing druid then, right? Or does I? Cause I kind of want to have a Luris. I don't know. I don't know. It jumps. I go to two. I can still draw pulverize, right? Like we can still draw pulverize, and we can get out of this situation. I can jump for two turns if they don't draw anything else. All right, that is really bad for me. <laughs> that 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 cannot be good for me. I, I I must admit that probably is killing me. Let's see, seven mana. Uh, three mana, four mana. Oh, they can't play a Nettle Cyst and equip, so that's good. Uh, but now we might have to drop Pulverize. What else can they play here? A Null Rod? They have a Null Rod in their deck still? A Null Rod would be pretty good. Um, 
Trinisphere, Sphere of Resistance, Nettle Cyst. Um, I don't know. I think Pulverize still beats everything. But I'm probably not going to be able to do my Luris stuff. If my opponent just like gets anything here. They got a Sphere Resistance, okay. So Pulverize still winning. Pulverize is still winning. Let it be known. Purple Elephant. Purple Elephant! This is the worst game. Alright, I still play one more turn, right? Unless they draw an artifact. I mean, we're 19 cards deep. Can't a guy get a little lucky? If they draw a land, and I chump block this term, then I don't die, and I can still draw purple elephant. <laughs> yeah, no! Oh, wait, they I, I forgot about that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they have Crucible of Worlds Inventors Fair, which, uh, which kills us on the spot here. All right. Uh, are you kidding me? Chat, chat, chat. We needed to live one more turn. No. 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 This is so sad. All right, whatever. We're on the play now. That was so unfortunate. We almost beat Chalice on one with our 22 one drops deck. It was, it almost happened. Should have played Luris into Bobble instead of Druid. Yep. True. That would have got us there. I had to do it earlier than the turn I did it. But we could have done that. I was still holding out hope of being able to play Luris and Questing Druid out of my yard and chump block every turn. I feel like that would have been a pretty amenable word state. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. We almost got there. Very close. I mean, we were pretty lucky they never drew a Crucible. Not a Crucible, a Wasteland, right? We only had two mountains in play for most of the game. All right, so all we want is a basic mountain and a dragon rage channeler on turn one anything more than that is uh extra because it's already been shown they cannot beat a dragon rage channeler chops does not have the capacity to beat a three three flying come on let's go what are you doing we got we got bills to pay mouse to feed dinner to make and chat to entertain. Play points to be paid out. PO points, I guess. Not play points. That's kind of confusing. So I can get more play points for us. Uh, Alright. I have a cat. I have two purple elephants. Why do you tempt me so? Just ball it? Can we ball? Can we ball? All right, Gataxian Probe, I need you to do some heavy lifting here. Basic Mountain, I need you to do some heavy lifting here. Mountain, Swifty, T-Swift, Odd in the House, and Gataxian Probe. Trigger. Show me your secrets. Ooh, a Sapphire. Their hand is Jet Pearl. Mana Crypt, Nettle Cyst, Argentum Masticore, Dismember, and Worm Coil Engine. All right. This game is probably coming down to how many lands I can draw off the top of my library. Mox Pearl.
Mana Crypt. Mox Jet. Nettle Cyst. Holding open Dismember. Okay. Okay. I'll take a mountain. <laughs> Why is the game like this? Uh, Alright, whatever. I'm going to need to draw a mountain probably on the next turn, yeah? I mean, I, I cast a probe and I drew for turn. I think we just straight up will win this game if with a mountain, yeah? Come on, come on. Like, what if they play like a Mox and they play a Mastacore and then boom. They meet the purple elephant. Oh, they have a black mana. They have a shadow spear? Oh my. Uh, that's bad. All right, well, now we definitely need an elephant. I need a mountain now. I need a mountain. That's a shadow spear. I mean, they have no, they have no non-artifacts. A mountain wins the game. No! <laughs> What is it like to be so sad? They're gonna like play a worm coil engine and it's not gonna the mount the pulverize isn't gonna be enough and I'm gonna be so sad. This is so sad. Come on, please. Ancestral Recall. Mountain. No! Why? <laughs> this stinks. I have two purple elephants. I have to... Oh. Are they going to play Argenta Masticor? Or are they going to... Dismember in combat? Or... So I need to block with... Two... Both the Slick Shot show-offs. And then... They, they should just attack, right? Or are they going to play the... They're going to play the Masticor. Okay. I can win this game. This is still a winnable game. I chump block with two creatures. Oh, oh, they, they're, ch they're changing their mind. They're changing their mind. All right, I chump block with Swift Spear and show off, and then they do nothing and play a Massacre. And I draw Pulverize. I draw, I draw a mountain and I cast Pulverize. I destroy their whole board and I kill them. Yes? True? Please? Deck? I'm gonna draw Tropical Island. I know, I know I'm going to draw Tropical Island. I'm 1000% going to draw Tropical Island. This is so, so good. I just, <laughs> give me a mountain. Please. No! <laughs> This is so sad. Can't even show them my pulverizes. Let me show you my purple elephant. Please respond. Uh, I actually just broke my game, apparently. <laughs> uh... This is the easiest game of my life. I just needed to draw a single mountain. Sag. All right. Well, overall, though, we went 3-2, which is uh, points paid out to the non-believers. Choose prediction outcome. No deck is a fraud. True. 
Uh, uh, complete. All right, congratulations, non-believers. You have cashed out on Deck is a Fraud. Uh, this was pretty fun, actually. Uh, I'm happy with the number of wins we got. I feel like we were we I, I, we had the chance to win four out of five matches. Some things that could have gone a different way, we might have gotten there. Not saying this is the perfect way to build the deck either. We did some cool things though. We did the breach uh, channeler with four channelers go infinite. That was pretty sweet. Uh, we had berserk kills. We had scale up kills. We had um, mutagenic growth. Honestly, a cool showing. Not bad. We we got to not board in like almost all of our sideboard. We played basically with no sideboard. We even cast Luris, didn't we? Maybe we didn't cast Luris. I feel like we cast Luris once. We think we Black Lotus out of Luris, or at least tried to. So yeah, not bad. Good one. Thank you, uh, Myron, for the donation deck list. Uh, if you want to see your deck list played on this channel, make sure you take out the Patreon link in the description below where you'll find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Uh, if you like this content, more vintage content on my YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will see you then.